Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see Java program to find summation of Fibonacci series till n. Now what is Fibonacci series? This is called Fibonacci series. What is the logic behind, the lo behind this series? We have to start the series from 0 and 1. Then each of the next term of the series we can find by adding previous two. So if I add both of them, I will get next term. Then again for finding next term, I will add up these two, I will get two as a result. Then again to find next term, I will add one and two. So I'll get three as next term of the series. Then again, two plus three will result in next term that is five and so on. Here what is the question? We have to find Fibonacci series summation till n. What is n? We have to ask user to enter the upper limit. And we have to add up all the Fibonacci terms till 10. So till 10, what are the Fibonacci terms? These are the terms and we have to print final summation. Now we know the Java program to find or to print Fibonacci series. We have already discussed this. You can see my video on how to print Fibonacci series. The link for the same is given in the description below. Now this is the program to print Fibonacci series. What are we doing? We are first asking the user to enter the upper limit. Upper limit is taken. Now we will declare A is 0, B as 1 to start the series. Then we are printing the term A and B. Now in the for loop what we are doing? We are doing addition of previous two. So the logic for swapping is required. Let us run this program to check whether it is printing Fibonacci series or not. First, let me comment the program. I am not commenting the program. I am commenting the question. Right? Because that is not the part of Java program. Now let us run. We compiled it. It compiled successfully. Now we will run this. It is asking me upper limit. I entered. See it is printing the terms of Fibonacci series till 10. Now if I again run and if I enter 100, it is printing the series till 100. What actually it is doing? It is finding the next term. How does it find? Addition of these two will give me 1. Then addition of 1 and 1 will give me 2. Then if I add up 1, 2 will give me next term 3. If I add 2 and 3, will give me next term 5 and so on. So this is the program for finding or printing Fibonacci series. But what is our question? We have to find summation. So what will I do? I will declare one variable in sum is equal to. Now sum is equal to we have to initialize it with 1. Why? Because see in the for loop, what are we doing in the for loop? We are adding C is equal to A plus B. So this term is addition of previous two. But we will miss. What will we miss? We will miss this one. So that's why we have to initialize sum with one. And in the for loop, whenever I am getting the next term, I am not supposed to print it. I have to add it. So I will write sum is equal to sum plus c. What am I doing? As soon as I am getting the next term of the series, c. Series starts from 0, 1. In c, what will I get? 1. Then again, since it is a for loop, it will repeat again. Again, 1 plus 1 will be calculated and I will get 2 and so on. So here, every time whatever I get in c, I am adding it in the container sum because I am interested in final summation of Fibonacci series. Now we will print the sum. Outside the for loop. Now let us run the program. I don't have to print the Fibonacci terms so I am deleting that printing message. Actually, we are just making the change in the program of 
printing Fibonacci series. If we know how to print Fibonacci series, our job is just to add up that terms of Fibonacci series in the container sum. Let us run this. Enter the upper limit. If I add 10, it gives me 20. Why? Because what are the Fibonacci terms? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8. If I add all of them, it will give me 20. Right? Again, let us run. And we will enter the upper limit as 100. It will add up all the terms of Fibonacci series. Right? In this, if you wish to print the series as well as to find the summation, you can do it. How? Let us print. I will print A because it is the starting of the series. Then I will print B and then again I will give space. You will write only print and in the for loop, I will print the term C as well. So this question or this statement will give me what? Both printing the series as well as summation. Let us run this. We will compile it and we will run it. If I enter 10, see it is printing the series and it is printing the sum as well. Again if I enter the upper limit 100, it will print and it will print the sum as well. We can put this line as a separate line by putting slash n here. So now if I compile, you will get the series and its summation on different lines. See, the series is printed and we got the summation as well. So this is the program to print summation of Fibonacci series.